Hello, everybody. Welcome to Unforgettable. Hello, and welcome once again to Beetle University. I am Professor Moptop, and while most colleges take a holiday break, here at Beetle U, we know that learning never takes the day off. And in that spirit, let's head back to 1965 and hear about Paul McCartney's Christmas gift to the other three Beatles. A program in which we hope to bring to you old songs, new songs, blue songs, green songs, any songs you want, you name it. We've got it. During the Rubber Soul sessions, John wrote In My Life, which may have been his gift to the other three Beatles, who were close friends. They were also really wealthy young men. There are places I remember We aren't sure how the Beatles dealt with Christmas gifts, if they gave all to one another, or if it was a grab bag situation, or maybe a secret Santa, but at any rate, by the end of 1965, they had enough money to buy pretty much anything that they wanted. With some of his new dough that he had, Paul McCartney bought a couple of higher-end studio-grade reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders. So now, when he was at home, he would be able to make demo recordings, or just play around. His at-home Brunel tape recorders would get a lot of use over the years, creating many of the tape loops that would wind up on Tomorrow Never Knows. Shortly after Paul bought his new toys, in October of 1965, he quickly started fiddling around with the knobs and creating new noises. He also made a special and unique, very interesting gift for his other three bandmates, which was basically Paul McCartney doing a radio show Sort of a pirate radio thing, but with an American accent. It's very cool. In every country, every race, creed, people are getting together at Christmas to wish each other a happy. And so, in this program, Unforgettable, we hope that you are not going to forget us and are going to join us on it. He titled it Unforgettable as he played the 1951 Nat King Cole song for his bandmates. Incidentally, Unforgettable's working title was Uncomparable. Unforgettable, that's what you are. Unforgettable, though near or far. Then came Someone Ain't Right, a track from the I Go To Pieces album by close personal friends of Paul McCartney, Peter and Gordon. Yes, thank you, Peter and Gordon. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Gordon. Then came an American tune, I Get Around by the Beach Boys from 1964. It was kind of an oldie by then. And here we are, let me remind you, you're now at the St. Paul School Dance in the honor presence of Mr. Patrick Kerr and innumerable others. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around, I get around. Okay, okay, that was the Beach Boys. I get around. Great. Then Paul dropped the needle, or rolled the tape, as it were, for Martha and the Vandellas and Heat Wave, a Motown favorite from 1963. And now, to take the stand, we move over now to Martha and the Vandellas. Martha and Vandellas sing a little song called Heat Wave. How about it, Martha? How about it? special guest celebrity announces the next song. Now it's time for the old golden gases. And we have along here uh, a, ce a celebrity, a celebrity at Radio Pauline. Radio Pauline is a play on Radio Caroline, an English pirate radio station. We have of the famous Peter and Gordon duo, we have Peter, Peter Asher. Peter, what is your uh, golden gas here going to play for us now? What is it, Peter? Uh, this is Don't Be Cruel by the King, and this is my favorite blast from the past. You know I can't be found 
sit home all alone If you can't come around At least please tell the phone Don't be cruel To who hard is true Finally, we hear from the Rolling Stones. Down Home Girl was from the Stones' second album, cleverly titled The Rolling Stones No. 2. Down Home Girl was originally done the year before by Alvin Robinson. Now I swear, the perfume you wear made out of turn up greens Every time I kiss you, girl It tastes like pork and beans After McCartney was done with his recordings, he took the tape to music publisher Dick James, who made four copies of it onto acetates, which are low-grade records that weren't designed to last forever. He gave one to each of the other Beatles as a Merry Christmas gift. Remember, they could buy whatever they wanted. For years, the tape had been presumed lost, and all four copies are now gone. But somehow, a tape survived. And after many years, we can finally hear what Paul had to say and play on this collection of songs he put onto a tape. Basically, Paul McCartney invented the mixtape. And with that, we say so long for another week here at Beatle U. Join me back next time when we have our year in review and we learn about what we've learned about in the past 12 months. Until then, class dismissed. I am Professor Mop Top. A Mop Top Production.